Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Aries September 27, 2022. Wishful thinking may steer you a little off course with Venus in opposition to Neptune early today. Because this aspect falls in your resources sector, it's best not to lend out money or valuables or make significant financial decisions for now. People might drain you, materially or emotionally, or situations are confusing. Being firm yet sensitive is your best bet for managing boundary problems. Still, it may be better to observe now and resolve to act on things later since it can be hard to see a financial or relationship matter clearly. As well, a new moon will occur tomorrow, making today better for observation than taking new action. Avoid putting your precious resources, including energy and spirit, into something before you can feel more fully on board. You may need to dream up new ways to meet your goals. Today could land you in a dire, sticky situation. As Venus orbits in your solar second house of finances, she often aids you in attracting more abundance. However, as she stands opposite mysterious Neptune in your solar eighth house of assets, you may make a terrible financial decision that ends up costing you a great deal of resources and ends up making your significant other doubt your judgment. Agree to no contractual matters today and, by all means, avoid negotiations. If single, beware, you may be in the process of being seduced by a charlatan, so don't proceed with anything without having an excellent outside opinion. It might be best to put yourself first. Aspects of your finances are becoming clearer and clearer as Venus in Virgo opposes Neptune retrograde in Pisces. Some of your commitments are not as valuable as you may have hoped. The debts or constraints of your commitments are in perspective during this opposition, encouraging you to take a step back to consider the bigger financial picture. You may find that it is time to focus on your own financial budget, goals, and valuable property instead of trying to work with others. What a difference a day can make. Yesterday saw the Sun leave your income sector and his more objective approach end while giving Venus, the planet of money a chance to take the wheel. Since then, the Moon has returned and Mercury has retrograde back in for a do-over visit, with a sharp nose and head for money together giving you the resources to draw on as both new and old doors open. Whatever your definition of power, there is a lot of it in the air right now. The current planetary configuration is like having Arnold Schwarzenegger and Michael Jordan on the same team. Raw strength and bright intelligence join forces. You may use this power to improve what you know to be your weak spot. If this has something to do with food, try shopping for meals in advance instead of eating out this week. Set up the breakfast table at bedtime and enjoy the benefits of having a real breakfast. You will tend to change directions in your life and find a new balance after a long period of failures and difficulties. It is with your family and friends that you will feel most in harmony and everyone will advise you to start working on your inner life so that you can see some light at the end of the tunnel. This inner search may be slow and laborious, but this is the price that you have to pay to get some harmony back into your life, most notably in your relationships. Everything will irritate you and generate conflicts. Where has your legendary humor gone? When the Dwarf Planet series leaves Leo next week this will end all planetary activity in your sign for the year and all links to the launch of this new solar year. Over a month after your birthday month ended, Ceres is staying on to focus less on your game plan and resolutions or on the when, where and how and more on having a deeper understanding of your needs and priorities moving forward. This year is gaining momentum and moving on but Ceres asks that you take the time to first get your personal bearings and especially when it comes to a sense of purpose. At the same time that the Sun is spending his first weekend in your communication sector, Saturn is slowing down as he moves into his final four weeks in retrograde motion in your relationship sector. With a growing partnership between the two over the coming weeks and Venus, the planet of love joining in next week, this is providing increasing support when it comes to giving your relationships, the past and unsaid words a voice. Our eyes in the sky. The moon enters Airy Libra today and connects with the sun, 
forming a new moon. This is a strong test of your stamina and fighting power, and you could feel drained at times. You might need to roll out the yoga mat and take a child's pose at some point today. People could be acting the fool around you simply because they aren't equipped to handle the flood of emotions. Be prepared for a few to display some bad behavior. If you want the same kind of respect, cash, and admiration your idols enjoy, you'll have to put in the time and hard work to bring your ideas to their attention. Meanwhile, mind the way you dress and express yourself in the world. While others may perceive you one way, you're tempted to take a new path to keep them guessing. This is not a day for the faint of heart. Try to address your work and obligations with the understanding that everyone is feeling the weight of the world and unable to fully process the magnitude of what they're experiencing. Just take it slow and steady, and try your best to keep your eye on the ultimate goal in your life. We all get a reprieve in the evening. In the morning, the Virgo moon aligns with retrograde Mercury, making us chatty. Although we have much to say, we should be re-evaluating our ideas instead of attempting to prove anything to anyone now. Conversations will help us to hone our talking points and understand concepts from new perspectives. However, it is just as likely that we will take offense to differences of opinion. Try to keep an open mind, even if your beliefs remain unchanged. The moon begins its void of course following this aspect's perfection, suggesting we avoid starting new projects. Focus on work that is already in progress or take it easy. It will be easier to communicate, and job searches and salary negotiations should go more smoothly. If you want to make more money, don't think about what you don't have. Instead, think about what you can change in your life and the lives of others with what you earn now. What counts is the people you touch, not what you own. If you've wanted to make some changes to the way you earn or save money, this is the time to start or increase your efforts. Send out more resumes, join networking groups, or set up a savings plan. Mid-morning, the moon enters Libra, ending its void of course. Over the next two days, we are in a peacekeeping mood. A desire to keep matters pleasant and surface level can cause us to come across as superficial. Although achieving harmony is our primary intent, we should ensure that its pursuit doesn't lead us to make self-effacing choices.